the true power of God comes from intimacy with Christ. It comes from obedience to Christ. It comes from being set apart for the Lord. It comes as we are being filled with the Holy Spirit. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is more than just feeling sentimental feelings in worship service. It is a transformation in your life, becoming more like Him. Dear Heavenly Father, I cannot speak if you do not teach me. God, I ask you with all of my heart that you will be in control of my mouth from the beginning to the very end and the hearts of the people who watch this video. I pray that I only speak what you want to speak. God, may you give discernment to the church. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We see an increase of Satanism in all over the world today. Somebody sent me a photo of Lil Nas X, Satan shoes. And uh, whenever we see American music videos, most of them are like porn, the movies as well. And not only in America, but also in Korea, um, I see increase of demonic symbolisms and messages in their dramas and music videos. And there are people who sell their souls to the devil to receive fame, to be rich. And I have such a pain for them because our God is very powerful and God is delaying his judgment and his patience so that one soul can re reach repentance and believe in Jesus Christ. Demons, they fear Jesus, they tremble in the name of Jesus Christ. But church today, church today, we do not really seek him with all of our heart. We're not, we're not, we're not really following in his ways. When we see, when we see souls, these hungry souls that are driven by the flesh, following after um, the demons and um, the powers and money and greed and all these things, yet the church itself, we the church, we're also doing the same thing. We, we are also driven, we're also searching for things of this world instead of seeking the Lord who died for our sins, who gave his life for us. Our Lord cries over the church today. There are some of you who watch this, these movies, these so listen to these songs by these people, but the Lord clearly said that you cannot participate in the cups of the demon and cups of the Lord. You know, when you, op when you, when you compromise these, thi these things, it will be a later trap for you. As Holy Spirit came to us, we became children of God. And before, just like the world, we were controlled by the spirit that is, work, that is at work in the sons of disobedience. But we were moved from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And we now walk according to the spirit, not according to the flesh. Dem as demonic activities increases, there will be the rise of false prophets that has supernatural powers. And some of you may be very, very... Um, some of you will follow these things as signs, performance, thinking that, oh, that is a part of God. You know, God can heal people and uh, we can cast out demons, but the true power of God comes from intimacy with Christ. It comes from obedience to Christ. It comes from being set apart for the Lord. It comes as we are being filled with the Holy Spirit. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is more than just feeling sentimental feelings in worship service. It is a transformation in your life, becoming more like Him. It's a deep intimacy with Him. Subjection to Christ. Repentance. But so many of the worship services today in America, especially in mega churches, they are the ones who are... Um, leading this but they proclaim prosperity gospel that god wants success in your business god wants success in in success of you in this world and this is the will of god god blesses jobs honestly he does god blesses your home he does but the will of the lord is that you will follow him and pick up the cross 
we Christians know that this world is not our home. But there are a lot of false teachings going on in mega churches which lead the, the worship services. And in the worship service in that place, they're like they're in heaven looking these these feelings and all these things, but no life change. As we see increase of uh, Satanism and our young people following new age and all these things, God uses the church to carry out his work. God uses the church to minister to the souls. But the reason why church have truly lost the power of God is because we lack in truth. We have to restore the word of God. The word of God has to be revived in our lives. And we, we have to really, really we learn to die to self and follow Christ already. We have to proclaim that I have died. It is no longer I who live, but Christ living in me. You seeking the power of Holy Spirit is more than spiritual gifts. Seek the Lord himself and his and intimacy with him. He, we, we naturally bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit as we abide in him. But some of the churches use, use spiritual gifts to receive money. Some of the pastors live in the most big houses. It was that the lifestyle that disciples lived. The Lord clearly said to discern false teacher, the to discern false prophets, see the fruits. See the fruits. Don't don't look into the gifts. Don't look into the power and signs and wonders. For false prophets do these things too. Don't look into the don't look into the like feelings or presence, but look into the fruits. That's where we find whether it's true or not. That's where we find if it's lie or not. We're going to see more of these things as the coming of Christ gets near. And we have to go back to the word of God. And that's how God will work through the church. The common thing between um, people in Satanism and teachings of the false prophets um, or in a, they they follow their sensuality they are focused in this world but we know that this world is not our home there's something more there's eternal life this world is not the place where we're going to reside forever but with the lord jesus christ do not be fooled by the spiritual authority or signs and wonders or even some of the things that feels like presence. But look to the fruits. Look to the fruits. Look if Christ is really in there. That's why you have to read the word. Jeremiah 14, 14. And the Lord said to me, The prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I did not send them, nor did I commend them or speak to them. They are prophesying to you a lying vision, worthless divination, and deceit of their own mind. 2 Timothy 4, 3, For the time is coming when people will not enjoy sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions. Romans 16, 18, For such persons do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites, and by smooth talk and flurry they deceive the hearts of the naive. Dear Heavenly Father, you use clean vessels. I pray that you will teach the church to not focus on spiritual gifts or power, but intimacy with you, Lord. I pray that you will teach us what the real presence of yours is. Jesus, many crowds, Lord, gather into a place where they can be fed according to their passions and their appetites. But Lord, I believe that you're going to raise churches with your truth. God, may you raise churches in America. That goes really back into your word and that loves you and that seeks you with all of their heart. Father, thank you for blessing us. May, may we use the gifts that you give to edify the church, not to please ourselves. Lord, I also pray for those who are indulged in Satanism. I pray that they will come back to you and know you. God, visit them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of God, being rich in mercy because of the great love he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. 